Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we're going to talk about your mistakes in English and sometimes people correct your mistakes and they're totally right. And it's good when people are giving you feedback. I actually love when people tell me that I make mistakes because this is the way for me to improve my language. But sometimes people get too snobby and correct things that are not actually mistakes. And there are a lot of snobs all over the internet. There are, I'm sure, a lot of snobs in your life. Today we're going to talk about mistakes that aren't really mistakes. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. A lot of people would tell you that you cannot end your sentence with a preposition. So for example, you're saying, where are you going to? And people would say, you cannot do that. You can say where you're going, but you cannot say where you're going to because the sentence ends with preposition and this is grammatically incorrect. It is not incorrect. It is okay to say where you're going to, who are you talking to, who are you walking with. It's completely fine to end your sentence with a preposition. Sometimes it might sound a little unnatural and you can paraphrase your sentence and say, to whom are you talking right now? But I would say the second version sounds even more unnatural. So who are you talking to? Where are you going to? Where are you coming from? It's completely okay. There is no mistake in putting your preposition in the end of your sentence. There are a lot of words in English that are kind of singular, but they mean plural things. For example, data. If we go to the roots of this word, and by the way, I love going to the roots of different words because then you understand where it's coming from, you understand the history of the word and uh, you can have more information to make the right decision. So data comes from Latin and in Latin it was plural and obviously when you have a set of different information points, of course it's plural. And some people would tell you, you can't say this data isn't enough. You should say the data you presented aren't enough enough because yes, it's from Latin, yes, it should be plural, but it's completely okay to say data is enough. Or in other words, use data as a singular noun because words come to us from Latin, but then they evolve in our language, they evolve in our everyday life. And we say data, yes, we actually mean a lot of information, but this word is one word that describes that information and we can use it as a singular noun. This data is enough. If you want to sound better in English, it is very useful to read and read and listen to people who speak English in the right way every single day. And I know there are so many books out there that I want to read, that you want to read. And there's an app called Blinkist that actually tells you the most important things from every single book in 15 minute formats. You can either listen to it or you can read it. And I think this is one of the best inventions for people like me who just want to read everything that's out there on the market. And uh, Blinkist is sponsoring this video, so you're getting something special. I really recommend that you start exploring Blinkist with reading the best sellers because they are written in a way that is natural to millions of people all over the world. For example, one of my favorite books is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And then over here learning English and trying to do something else with your life, you need to be really effective. Because you're watching this video, you're getting something special. The first 100 people who hit the link below are gonna get free trial of Blinkist for seven days. You can cancel any time, but during this free trial, you get access to their amazing books and you can read the book that I've recommended. And if you want to continue with a full membership, you're gonna get 25% off. The link will be below. Be one of the first 100 people. The next mistake is really, well, kind of mistake, really common and people would correct me a lot, especially here on YouTube. When somebody asks you, how are you? You can say, I'm good. I'm good. Well, for some people, it might sound incorrect. Something I want you to remember, it's grammatically, if we dig into everything, and I'm gonna explain this later, it's correct. It's just one thing to remember. If you're writing a test, if you're writing an exam, you can say, I'm good. But if a person is not used to this, if he considers this phrase to be wrong, they can actually lower your score. So if you're writing a test and um, you need to uh, write, how are you? I would rather reply with, I'm well. I'm well. But in your everyday life, you can say, I'm good as well. And here's the explanation. 
Yes, there is a rule. When we have a verb, we should pair it with an adverb. So to be as a verb and uh, if you want to describe something as a verb, you should use an adverb. He runs quickly, she writes correctly, he sees poorly, I run well. So whenever we're describing a verb, yes, we use an adverb. But there is such thing as linking verbs. And with linking verbs, when you want to describe it, you're not describing an action, you're rather describing a state. Here are some examples of linking verbs. Tastes, feels, acts, seems, becomes, sounds, appears, looks, turns. There are a lot of them. And with them, it's totally fine to use an adjective because again, you're not describing an action. You are describing a state. She seems okay, she seems fine, she seems beautiful. I feel bad. I feel bad. So with this linking verbs, totally okay to use an adjective and this is why it's totally okay to say I'm good. Because with this verb, you're rather describing your state. You're not really focusing on being on this planet, you're actually focusing on your state and this is why it's fine to say I'm good. The next thing that people get snobby about is using me. Sometimes I would say, do you want to come out with Dima and me? And people will be like, do you mean with Dima and I? So the rule of thumb here is to omit Dima from the sentence. When you want to ask somebody to come out with you, what would you say? I would say, do you want to come out with me? You wouldn't say, do you want to come out with I? This is a little weird. So whenever in doubt, try to omit the second person or the second object from your sentence. See what happens to me versus I, and then use the same version in the sentence that you're trying to build. Do you want to come with me? The next mistake that people try to correct is starting a sentence with uh, hopefully. Let's look at the sentence. Hopefully? Marina will record another video. And people who would tell you that you cannot start your sentence with hopefully, because they explain the sentence in a way that Marina will record a video in a hopeful manner which is not true really, because hopefully has become one of those introductory words like however, more often, furthermore, and other words that you can totally start your sentence with. So starting a sentence with hopefully is okay. However, it's not really okay to start your sentence with but or and. You need to replace these words with introductory words. So instead of saying, but I wanted to do that, you should say, however, I wanted to do that. Instead of saying, and she also brought bread, it's more grammatically correct to say, moreover, she brought bread. Now the last but not the least, let's look at the sentence. Each student has submitted their artwork to the committee. Now some people might tell you, hey, you have each student here, and then you have has, which is singular, and then somehow you say there. Why don't you say each student has submitted his or her work to the committee? Because that sounds kind of grammatically more correct because you have this each in the beginning. It's not a mistake really. You can use there in this case. Because the rule of thumb here, if you are referring to a kind of generic person, uh, each student means a generic person that's a part of a big group, it's fine to use there because with each student, we actually mean the class, we actually mean the group. So there is totally okay in this case. That was it from me for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you understood everything. Let me know if I should maybe slow down in my next videos. Let me know what your level of English is down below. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, this is another mistake that you're making. Hit subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and I will see you very soon in my next videos.